This informational open house is being held to give all interested persons the right to understand the improvement projects on I-4 and the opportunity to comment regarding those projects to the department. Public participation at this meeting is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting the individuals listed on this slide, which is also on a display board at this meeting. The Florida Department of Transportation, also known as FDOT, District 5, would like to welcome you to this open house for improvements to Interstate 4 and the interchange with Darrell Carter Parkway and Sand Lake Road. This open house is being held relative to financial project ID numbers 441113-1 and 444315-1. This open house was advertised consistent with state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. Advertisements for this open house included letters to elected and appointed officials, postcards to residents, newspaper ads, notification to local media, notification to local businesses, posters placed around the community, and an advertisement in the Florida Administrative Register. These projects focus on improving mobility and safety on I-4 at Darrell Carter Parkway and at Sand Lake Road. FDOT is building a new interchange between I-4 and Darrell Carter Parkway and improving the interchange between I-4 and Sand Lake Road. The purpose of this meeting is to share with the public details about the improvement projects and timeline for construction. This meeting also serves as an official forum to provide the public with the opportunity to ask questions about the improvement projects and to provide input. Construction on these two projects is expected to begin in late 2021, or at the beginning of 2022, and take approximately three years to complete. Daryl Carter Parkway is an area of rapid development with several residential, hospitality, and retail projects already under construction. Darrell Carter Parkway also has the potential to provide congestion relief to the I-4 State Road 535 Apopka Vineland Road interchange to the west by offering an alternate route to the nearby outlet mall, destinations along the south end of International Drive, and to State Road 535 and Winter Garden Vineland Road, County Road 535. The Sand Lake Road interchange serves many Orange County communities, including International Drive, Dr. Phillips, Bay Hill, and Tangelo Park plus the Orange County Convention Center, nearby attractions, hospitals, major sporting events, and more. There is a need to improve the movement of traffic along Sand Lake Road, which will help improve traffic on nearby Turkey Lake Road and International Drive. Improving the mobility of vehicles entering and exiting I-4 at Sand Lake Road can help reduce backups at the interchange, which also slows traffic on I-4. This section of I-4 serves, on average, nearly 200,000 vehicles each day, with more than 50,000 vehicles traveling on Sand Lake Road daily. Travelers on I-4 experience daily congestion through this area, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Congestion through Central Florida costs our region $1.2 billion in lost productivity and wasted fuel, and the average driver loses 46 hours each year sitting in traffic. The Orange County Convention Center, the International Drive Corridor, and nearby attractions drive Central Florida's economy, helping to bring 75 million visitors to this region in 2018. Their combined economic impact reaches into the billions of dollars each year. These improvements support the region's long-term economic health by providing more reliable access to jobs and some of the region's largest hospitality destinations. Employees will have an easier commute to work and home again. Visitors have better experiences in Central Florida and trucks are able to deliver their goods more efficiently. The department will build diverging diamonds for the improvements at both the Sand Lake Road and Darrell Carter interchanges. A diverging diamond interchange is one of several innovative interchanges that are part of I-4 Beyond the Ultimate. The first diverging diamond interchange in Florida opened in May of 2017, here in Sarasota at the intersection of I-75 and University Parkway. DDIs are used all around the world, built where interstates meet busy local roadways. DDIs help improve safety and traffic flow in several ways. This is how a diverging diamond works. As traffic on the local road approaches the interstate, it switches sides at a traffic signal. After traveling over or under the interstate, traffic switches back at another traffic signal. By moving traffic to the other side of the road, the DDI eliminates the need for left turns across oncoming traffic, 
It also reduces the number of traffic light phases, allowing more cars to travel through the interchange. And when exiting the interstate onto the local road, drivers are able to make right turns and left turns easily, as you can see here. DDIs also reduce the number of conflict points or places where vehicles cross paths. As you can see here, a conventional diamond interchange has 10 conflict points. The diverging diamond reduces those conflict points to only two. This makes the intersection safer for drivers and pedestrians, who will have their own signals as well. A diverging diamond interchange is designed to be intuitive to drive through. You just follow your lanes. Advanced signs, signals, and pavement markings will help guide you through the intersection. So it makes the DDI a much safer and more efficient interchange. Six diverging diamonds are planned along I-4 in Volusia, Seminole, Orange, and Osceola counties. In addition to reducing conflict points for drivers, a diverging diamond also provides benefits for pedestrians and bicyclists. Both Sand Lake Road and Darrell Carter Parkway will see new bike and ped-friendly features at both interchanges, including new seven-foot wide bike lanes in each direction, as shown here at Sand Lake Road. Bicyclists will follow the same traffic flow as other vehicles through the diverging diamond and will be on the inside of the roadway through the interchange. At the traffic signal, they will return to the outside lanes. As seen here at Darrell Carter Parkway, pedestrians will approach the interchange like they do now. At the first ramp, cross to a traffic island. Cross the island, approach the first of two traffic signals, and cross into the median at the signalized crosswalk. Then walk the length of the interchange in the median, protected by concrete barrier walls on either side. At the far end, cross at another signalized crosswalk to another traffic island. Finally, cross another ramp at a signalized crosswalk and continue to your destination. This design is safer for pedestrians because they are only crossing traffic that is moving in and coming from one direction, and only crossing two or three lanes at one time instead of six or more. Let's take a closer look at the planned construction projects. Darrell Carter Parkway crosses over I-4 between Central Florida Parkway and State Road 535, Apopka Vineland Road. It also connects Palm Parkway with the south part of International Drive, but there is currently no access to I-4. Orange County is currently designing a new four-lane roadway that will connect Darrell Carter Parkway with the Popka Vineland Road. More information on this project can be found on orangecountyfl.net under Traffic and Transportation. There is currently significant residential and resort development in the area, with more planned in the coming years. Darrell Carter Parkway will become a diverging diamond interchange with new ramps to and from eastbound I-4 and an exit ramp from westbound I-4. There will be no access from Darrell Carter Parkway to westbound I-4 at this time. This configuration is an interim step with the full interchange being completed with a future project. The Sand Lake Road interchange serves as a gateway to some rapidly growing businesses and residential communities. The current configuration of the turn from westbound Sand Lake Road to southbound Turkey Lake Road is causing congestion that impacts the entire area. The new diverging diamond interchange allows more vehicles to travel through the interchange safely. The current left turn from westbound Sand Lake Road to southbound Turkey Lake Road is being eliminated. Instead, those drivers will use a new loop ramp that will connect with Turkey Lake Road south of the Phillips Crossing Shopping Plaza. FDOT also plans to improve I-4 throughout this area, moving the travel lanes to the outside to make room in the median for future projects. Drivers heading west along Sand Lake Road who want to access southbound Turkey Lake Road will encounter a new traffic pattern. While going through the diverging diamond under I-4, drivers will move to the right lane. 
After the second traffic signal, drivers will exit Sand Lake Road to the right and take the loop ramp and bridge to Turkey Lake Road, just south of the Phillips Crossing Shopping Center. At the light, drivers can turn right to access the shopping center or left to continue south on Turkey Lake Road. The planned improvements to Darrell Carter Parkway and Sand Lake Road are part of FDOT's I-4 Beyond the Ultimate. I-4 Beyond the Ultimate includes two 20-mile sections on either end of the current I-4 Ultimate project. I-4 Beyond the Ultimate North runs from east of State Road 434 to east of State Road 472. I-4 Beyond the Ultimate South runs from west of US-27 to west of State Road 435, Kirkman Road. Most of I-4 Beyond the Ultimate is currently under design, as FDOT moves towards its long-term goal of making the approved concept a reality. FDOT will build I-4 Beyond the Ultimate in phases to solve the most urgent operational needs first with available funding. I-4 Beyond the Ultimate is intended to support local businesses, residents, visitors, and communities through the improved transportation infrastructure that serves cars, trucks, bicycles, and pedestrians. The goals are to improve safety, reduce congestion, and to create better connectivity for Central Florida. FDOT has committed to spending 1.5% of the construction cost on aesthetic enhancements. The department is working with Orange County to create a gateway design for the Sand Lake Road interchange. Once approved by the county and FDOT, this design will become part of the final plans for the interchange. As we prepare for the improvement projects at Darrell Carter Parkway and Sand Lake Road, work on the I-4 Ultimate continues. The Kirkman Road State Road 435 interchange is nearing completion. In addition to the completion of the ramps and bridges, expect to see new landscaping added around the interchange. FDOT is currently in the process of widening Sand Lake Road from west of International Drive to east of Florida's Turnpike. This includes widening the bridge on Sand Lake Road over Kirkman Road, State Road 435, and building a new flyover bridge on John Young Parkway over Sand Lake Road. The work is divided into three projects. All three projects are expected to be completed by the spring of 2020. You can learn more about the Sand Lake Road projects on cflroads.com and search for State Road 482. Orange County is currently designing a shared-use path along 1.3 miles of Sand Lake Road between Apopka Vineland Road and Turkey Lake Road. The design plans also include improvements to Della Drive and the addition of dedicated turn lanes from westbound Sand Lake Road into the Fountains and Plaza Venezia complexes. There is no announced date for the start of construction on this segment of Sand Lake Road. Learn more about the Sand Lake Road project at sandlakeroadstudy.com or on orangecountyfl.net. Under Residence, choose Traffic and Transportation, then click on the link for Transportation Projects. You can stay informed about the I-4 Beyond the Ultimate project by visiting our website, i4beyond.com, and signing up to receive the monthly electronic newsletter. If you're on social media, follow at I-4 Ultimate on Twitter for information on I-4 Ultimate and I-4 Beyond the Ultimate. You can get customized alerts daily or weekly, and only for the parts of I-4 you drive regularly. Visit i4beyond.com to learn more and sign up. The website features interactive maps, 3D animations, construction timelines, and more to help you understand and stay up to date on design and construction. FDOT has already begun reaching out to businesses and civic organizations in the area to help them understand the diverging diamond and prepare them for the new traffic pattern. This outreach will continue throughout construction as FDOT works to reach as many people as possible. To schedule a presentation, call or email David Parks or Miriam Ali to request a speaker for your workplace, homeowners association, school, civic organization, or other group. FDOT also has a program to help you rethink your commute. Discover what commuter options are available to you and your workplace. Visit RethinkYourCommute.com for more information. If you have any questions after this meeting, please contact Todd Helton, the Sand Lake Road Interchange Project Manager, at todd.helton at dot.state.fl.us. Or Sue Howe, the Darrell Carter Parkway Interchange Project Manager, at sue.howe at dot.state.fl.us. You can also contact the I-4 Beyond the Ultimate Community Outreach Specialist, David Parks, at davidparks at i4ultimate.com. Thank you for coming to the Informational Open House.